Hello and welcome to a new week with me. What was that? Why did I sing? I don't know what I just did. You never know what is gonna come out of my mouth when I start these things. I'm going to be doing something that millennials and Gen X generations are really going to appreciate because it's something we grew up with. You've probably already seen it on the title and the thumbnail. I wanted to be Molly Ringwald. I obsessed over movies with her in it. I felt awkward and different. I still do. I still am. She was a really intricate person. She made her own clothes. She obviously is definitely a type of girl that would have been a thrifter. I honestly feel like her fashion in the beginning of the movie was more my speed, but everybody knows the iconic dress that she made in the movie. I mean, you can get that dress. I was just looking it up recently because of this vlog. You can get that dress on Amazon as like a Halloween costume. And you can also get one that's way better on Etsy. So depending on your budget, the one on Etsy is obviously more expensive because it's handmade, I think. And it's a really good replica of the dress that Andy in the movie made. The dress was actually a mix of two dresses that she was gifted from her father who didn't make a lot of money. He was a single dad raising her alone. The other dress that she combined it with was her friend Iona's prom dress. And so she took, she didn't really like the style of either particularly. And so she took them to, and sewed them together to make this like perfect dress. I wanna admit something to you. I didn't like it even back then and I still don't. <laughs> I don't think it's that great of a dress. I actually think it's kind of ugly. So I was reading a blog by Bustle about this particular dress and they interviewed the designer who put it together, the costume designer who did that. Her name is Marilyn Vance and she said, as iconic as the dress has become, Molly Ringwald would have probably preferred not to wear it. Molly hated the dress with a passion. When I look at that dress and when I saw it back then, I was like, that's what she made? It ne I never liked it. Does Please tell me if there's other people out there who thought it wasn't that great. But it was the concept of all of it. When she grabbed those two dresses and pieced them together and made them, that whole idea was what excited me and the fact that she sewed and created it herself and drew out sketches of how she wanted it to look. Like that, that is what made me excited. I have a black, it's black though, but I have a black dress with that exact collar neckline and I almost threw it in the giveaway pile when I was clearing out my closet last week. And I think I want to use that dress as the inspiration to do to dress this together so I only need to go buy one dress but I need something that's going to work with this and I can design the way that Andy designed her dress I'm not making the exact same style dress because as I just said I didn't like it but I love the idea of putting two dresses together I want to sketch it just like she did yeah this is gonna be my pretty in pink tribute to that movie I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this is exactly the kind of content that you're looking for from me because this is the kind of stuff that I get excited about and that's the whole point right why am I doing this because I want to get excited anyway that is my spiel I have uh, some things that got delivered and I want to do an unboxing with you because it's stuff for my closet organization that I'm still continuing on from last week. And once that's organized and done, then we can start thinking about the project this week. But I cannot leave that a mess any longer. It needs cleaned up. This is the mess I'm talking about. This is all of my workout stuff. I have nowhere to put it until I have somewhere to put my shoes. Here's today's outfit. I'm wearing my thrifted Gucci t-shirt with a little jean skirt. I got from Amazon and I hiked it up because I prefer the shape on me. Gosh, I can't wait till this whole area is clean. I have three boxes to unbox with you. The shoe rack. Look at all those pieces. Oh dear God. <laughs> no. So many rows, but this is what it's gonna look like. It's this really tall tower. The next thing I got was inspired by my new jewelry cabinet. I realized when I was putting all my jewelry away how some of my silver rings have been tarnished for so long that I stopped wearing them. So I want to clean my jewelry. How riveting. And then to fix some of the things that I noticed that were broken, I got this. It's a jewelry repair kit. I wear silver and gold, so this has both in it. And then this has nothing to do with anything. You know what this is, don't you? I have been back on like a Bath and Body Works kick. I, it's a, it's a nostalgic thing for me, Bath and Body Works. It smells so good in here. But I had to get this. I had 
to get this. So this is the top to a Halloween collection that released with Bath & Body Works. It gets so badass. It's really heavy, so it's not cheap. It's not like cheap plastic. It feels really nice, and I'm gonna be able to reuse this over and over again because this is like permanent decor to me. This isn't Halloween. A lot of our decor in our house as people that are heavily tattooed and really into a little bit more disturbing artwork. <laughs> Love things like this. So this is gonna look so great in our black living room with the snake top to the candle. And the candle's really pretty too. It's like this gold ombre vanilla and it's called Wicked Vanilla Woods. I started watching a new show last night too and I'm glued to it. It's called The Discovery of Witches and it's on Netflix. There's three seasons. So if you're looking for something to binge that is like witchy and kind of mythological, but has the main character as a girl and she's cute and pretty and um, the characters are all very interesting. Start that. I got the air freshener. Now I know that there's a big thing on TikTok about these exploding in people's faces. I think you have to live somewhere where it gets pretty dang hot. This is the mahogany teak wood because it's my absolute favorite. It's my absolute favorite car fragrance of all time. So I've got two beautiful snake things that I can enjoy forever. Of course, you guys know I had to do it. I had to get leaves. How adorable is this little scene here? It's like cinnamon, apple, crushed, dry leaves. Oh, it's just heaven. Autumnal scents at Bath & Body Works, I will always love. And I'm sorry if you're not somebody who likes to support chains like that. I know I have a lot of friends and maybe some followers who don't love these corporate chains. We're gonna have to just make an exception when it comes to autumnal Bath & Body Works stuff or anything that looks like this. Okay, but that is it for my unboxing. I'm gonna go munch on a couple of like protein balls just so that I have some energy. I wanna build this shoe rack. One of the reasons why I wanted this particular shoe shelf is because it had a cover so you didn't have to look at it. But I'm realizing <laughs> I ordered the tallest shoe shelf for a space that has the shortest ceiling. But I might like the way it looks open so that I can see my shoes. And this would be actually a really great way if you're trying to like redo your closet organization and you don't have shoe shelves, you can order a couple of these and make them whatever size you want so that it goes from tall to low. So it kind of has like an angle. It makes it to where you can really play around with it in any space. So I do like that a lot about it. That actually fits all of my summer shoes. I don't really have a lot of shoes. I mean, I still have all of my winter boots that are in storage, which will be switched out and these sandals all will go away. So that'll leave more room. 36, 38, so almost 40 pairs of shoes fit on here, especially if you double stack, which I did with my flats down there. If you double stack the shoes, they'll fit. Uh, there's honestly a couple of shoes on here that I would never wear. I would probably only wear in a photo that look cute for a photo, but are so uncomfortable. Those ones on the bottom there are awful. So I never wear them. My one pair of Louboutins are up here on the top. My new ones that I just got, because I just love these. These like milky, creamy um, mules. So, and then obviously my sneakers are what I wear the most. That's all my shoes. I don't, I need more shoes. So that's all nice and organized. And then below is just leisure wear, like sweatpants and stuff that I just hang out around the house. Okay, well, apparently this jewelry cleaner is for gold, platinum, and diamonds only. I thought maybe it was just gonna be like jewelry cleaner period, but I read the back and it said, don't put any turquoise or silver in it. So I actually had to order silver cleaner because most of the jewelry that I do have that I want to clean is just made of silver. I'm gonna go work and finish up some things, but I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. We will go thrifting and get the dress to start this craft.
there were so many people working moving all of the summer dresses away pardon my appearance I, I i got back from pilates and then i mowed the lawn because it was just daisy land which i actually don't mind because it is like a pollinator so you can help the bees i guess i'll show you the idea dress first because the rest are just things i got for myself as per usual i wasn't even like looking for myself but naturally i'm gonna fall upon things this dress is the one that i'm thinking we're gonna do now remember i said that i didn't want to do exactly what she did because i'm not trying to re replicate her dress the ugliest bottom i do not feel guilty about cutting this off i hate it when patterns do this when they go from this like really pretty pattern to that it's just so expected and it's so dated and it's just this dress is really borderline like not my style and kind of ugly but that's the point i think i can make this something i'd like that's what andy did she thought that those two dresses weren't her but she took them and put them together to make it something that is her anyway it was 12 dollars. i think that was way too much for this dress this dress should have been no more than 2.99 <laughs> to be honest i don't know what they're thinking and why i paid this this is a karen stevens it's it's actually a size 10. How much was this? 16 freaking 99. I mean, Value Village is losing its mind and I'm losing my mind for paying it. But this dress is so beautiful. It's really well made. It has a tie so I can tie around the waist. I love that. It's a really beautiful material. Actually, I'm going to love this dress. This is going to be a beautiful dress to wear um, throughout the next colder months and season. Love the way it buttons. It's really super long and I like that. I wouldn't cut this one. This is something that I think would look really nice with some boots and playing with layering and all of that. When I first saw it, I was like, maybe this will be the dress that I cut. And then I was just like staring at it like, it's too pretty. And then this I found uh, that is, not the time i'm way too hot to even think about this right now but i had to get it because it's so soft and it's look at, if you could see up close there you go it's like rainbowy purple and pink and blue woven into this fabric and from a distance it looks white or gray and then you get up close and you see this like rainbow of colors i just thought that was so unique in a sweater I love that. I think it's so pretty. And this is probably up there with one of my favorite things that I got. It was in the Halloween section. Always got to check the Halloween section if you're somebody who likes to dress a little bit different. Because <laughs> that's, that's where the fun stuff is going to be. Look at this. Oh my god. I am looking for this type of collar. It has pearls! It has pearls! <laughs> what a clever idea for a neckline, for a collar. I love that. I can do that. I can do that to so many of my collars. It's by CC, a brand I've never heard of. It was $12.50. I spent way too much on all of this, on all these clothes. But gosh, it's beautiful. And another, another article of clothing that I got today with the tag still on. So that's two. Oh my gosh, this was $90. Did you see? Freaking sewing machine. I am emotional about that someone is going to be very happy. There's a couple of reasons why I didn't buy it and I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I don't know that I'm going to know how to use that type of sewing machine. I really don't know that I could even figure that out. I love that it's run by your foot. You just move your foot and it moves the bobbin. I mean, I'm obsessed with that idea. It was $100. I don't have $100 to just blow on a sewing machine I don't need right now. It was so beautiful, but I have a sewing machine. I think I would be even more upset if I got it home and I tried sewing with it and it like served no function because I didn't know how to properly use it. And also I prefer my other sewing machine. There's just too many factors as to why I just thought to pass on it. But could you imagine? making clothes from an old sewing machine like that. I'm gonna go get some um, jewelry and attempt this stainless steel cleaner. Okay, here's the stuff I got for the, the silver jewelry. Holy crap, that instantly untarnished it. Okay, wow.
I'm actually so excited to have all of my jewelry cleaned. So I, I never really wore my jewelry. And now I feel like I will actually wear it if it's organized and clean and looks nice. And I did look back on the video about this. Just remember, it's a quite a few years back. It was when I was really experimenting with different things in editing. But once it gets into the story um, of just about this, I explain the entire story really well. And so this is a Roman silver coin. So it's weird if it's silver, why it didn't work in the silver dip. I had to use the Brasso to get it clean instead, which I find interesting if this is supposed to be a real silver coin. But this is from 222 AD or something like that. So it's like 1700 years old. It's a very, very old, old coin. I want to wear it and enjoy it. So hopefully nobody cares that I upcycled it the sienna way and, you know, cut into it or put a hole in it. I had the guys there put a hole in it for me. Um, but I, I love it. And that video is very interesting. So I'll link that so that you guys can watch that video after this if you'd like to go back in time and see Sienna from a go talking about this coin and where I got it and the story. I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early on our project day. I did the little pillow curl thing again. I really, I really, really like having full bushy hair and I think it's cute and I didn't have to put any heat in it and then you wake up and it looks like this. And I put a thousand bobby pins in blonde throughout and I feel cute. I feel like a little doll. <laughs> the opening scene, the dad comments when she's in her outfit, they're still showing the credits on the movie and her dad says, is this another one of your creations or something like that? And she's like, the shoes are thrifted $15 and I handmade the rest. So the fact, first of all, can we point out like, wow, $15 pair of shoes back in the 80s? <laughs> That's an expensive pair of shoes, $15 now for a pair of shoes in the thrift store. I would be like, that's too much, what are they crazy? So it must have been a really nice pair of like maybe designer shoes or something if she's wearing that. Always felt a little bit of Iona and a little bit of Andy. I felt like I related to both of them because Andy's style was really cool, but Iona was very like nod to 50s and so 80s. Like she was just really creative and like the first opening outfit with her spiky hair and this tight pleather black outfit and her attitude and personality. I just love it so much. I love when she's in the scene with that really cool, like she's got that white wig on, almost Egyptian looking fox eye um, eyeliner. Like she was doing that look back in the 80s. I love that a lot of things that are becoming current are just really small adaptations of eras, you know, because even that was from an era that Iona was doing. So it just keeps coming back in its own way. And then the last thing that I wanted to say is, especially in this scene right here where they're in the hay, I feel like my obsession with cardigans could have come from this movie. And the idea of making clothes and making your own and, and upcycling and upcycling, she took two dresses and made it hers. All of this, everything that you see that I've been really leaning into here on my channel lately is all just inspiration I've gotten from movies growing up. And a huge part is Sex and the City, Sarah Jessica Parker and what she would wear. I get way more excited when I find like a weird dress that I thrifted that is a no name brand, doesn't even have a tag on it, don't even know who made it. And 
upcycle it and make it into something cool. But let me first just show you the dress because you guys are probably going crazy. Like, Sienna, show us the dress. So this is the dress I was talking about where she looks in the mirror as she's holding the prom dresses up to her and thinking about the design. And first she like had this piece and she thought about putting it on her head as a headband. And then she put it around her neck like this shirt that she has on and was like, yes, that's it. That's the design. So she does this and then adds the lace around the top of the dress. This thing I've had for ages and it has this neckline already. So I was thinking through the design that I did last night that I would take the top of that and put it underneath the dress and sew it together. I want to do something on the sleeves so I'm going to kind of like see if the lace would look good on the sleeves or maybe add one of the ruffles. I do have black ruffle that would look really cute. I might do that. Okay so we might do the ruffle like popped on the sleeve. We're going to make a belt out of the extra fabric that I'm going to have from cutting the dress shorter. Surprise. And then we're going to do a trim on the bottom. Surprise. <laughs> and then also she made a purse. I have a pattern for a purse that's very similar to this. If I have time, if I'm ambitious enough, I will make the purse. I might have to make the purse. We'll just see how, how much fabric I have, honestly, because what if I don't have enough? You know, then we'll skip the purse. It's not that big of a deal. The main thing is the dress. That's what I'm focused on. So I think that's a really good start to my pretty and black dress. Pretty and black. Okay, well here goes nothing. I have my scissors and this is about where I want the collar to sit. We're going for it. Ah! Okay. My dicky is essentially a sewn on dicky. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you see the vision? I almost feel like this needs to be black. So I'm gonna see if I have any trim that's black. If not, it's fine. It's a black and white dress and it'll be fine. But I could do this around the bottom too if I have enough. It is the moment of truth. The dress is done. It is time to try her on. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. I love this so much. I think it's so unique. It's definitely gonna get comments of some sort when I wear it out. It's either gonna be, what an interesting dress, or that's such a cute dress. This was really out of the box, so it really could have gone one of two ways. There was a moment there where I was like, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> this is gonna be so ugly. And I ended up making a dress that I already thought was really ugly, kind of. It, was, it wasn't really ugly, it just wasn't my taste at all. I love it. I love it so much. I didn't go too short with the hem and that came out really great. I love the bottom of the dress and the length. I love these little caplet sleeves. I think it's super cute. And the belt. The belt was uh, definitely a good idea. I think the belt would look cooler if it was just black, but I already sewed it and made it out of the extra fabric. There was no fat, well, there was a little bit of fabric left over, but I didn't have the desire to make a purse out of it. It's great. All right, well, I'm gonna go edit some of this footage together. It's a lovely weekend coming up and it's a holiday weekend. It's a long weekend. I'm gonna relax, try to take my time, slow down, take some time off, soak in that pool, get in the last bit of summer. So I'll see you on the next clip. Good morning. We went to a new park and walked around with the dogs, but it got pretty hot, so we ended up cutting it short. And then we went and got some 
food and then we ended up spending the rest of the evening just sitting outside and we were both reading books that to me is an ideal weekend but i did want to show you <laughs> my outfit this is my 80s outfit i have a pair of like lounge pants over top but this bathing suit could this be more 80s it's so miami vice cute and i actually really love this bathing suit top isn't it adorable isn't it so cute isn't it so cute and i have little hot pink flip flops on but i threw the pants over top because right now i'm going to go make some lunch All right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy this poolside, take my little speaker, my towel, and enjoy my lunch and relax in the pool for the rest of the weekend. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I wanted to be sure that I thanked you guys so much for the comments, the thumbs ups that you've been giving me. It really means a lot to me and it, it really motivates me to keep making these videos. So thank you so much for your support. Yeah, and then just give this a like if you liked it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it is, we'll see what I come up with next. See you next week.